Hello, hello to all you dear Aquarians. Here's your monthly horoscope for the first month of the year of 2019 of January. Happy birthday for some of you who were having the birthday at the end of the month. And let's delve into what is important for the month of January. Of course, we have two eclipses going on. One on the 6th in Capricorn and one on the 21st in Leo. Now, what, let's talk about that first and foremost. The first eclipse is happening in a very dark, dark, unconscious house. It's like a traffic jam up there. And it, so Capricorn is your 12th house. It's the, the last house for you uh, in your chart. And um, you're having a traffic jam of the Sun, the Moon, together with the South Node, together with Pluto, together with, with Saturn, together with Mercury, all those planets, all pointing out to deconstruct a certain structure. That's in a nutshell for everyone. Deconstruction of old structures is, is, the, is, is key here. Now, what does it mean for you? Now, the 12th house is the house of addictions. It's a house of where we uh, our blind spots, so in a, on a good way, in a good level, it could mean the end of an addiction. It could mean the letting go of a certain, um, you know, certainly with the South Note, it's always about letting go and it's always about cycles that kind of end. So in that respect, perspective, so maybe you are trying to stop smoking or stop drinking alcohol or whatever it is, it is a, this is the time that... Um, that you have a lot of chance that you will succeed. Um, now, it could also mean that there is some end cycle on a very unconscious level. So almost on a level of, um, uh, on a spiritual level, because the South Node is a very spiritual kind of, uh, of point in the horoscope. And you could have um, the, you could, you could uh, sense it in dreams, for instance, or having the feeling that your ancestors or um, anything that we cannot see that is not tangible, but that you feel some sort of a uh, support almost, a very spiritual connection. So it's a good time to connect there. Of course, always stay with the feet here, uh, with the feet on the ground, but it's a good time um, to connect on that level and to feel that support that you cannot always feel, uh, see or, or, or feel. Um, so that's one thing uh, on, a, um, on a one level. The, the other eclipse is more important for you because it's a total eclipse and it, it, it is in your opposite sign, so a key area of your life uh, of Leo. So good news for the Aquarians who are single and who want to meet someone new. This could mean someone new entering your life. Why? Because the moon is together with the north node, which means future, which means new things that will develop. Uh, so certainly a good time to meet new people, to meet new relationships. Um, if you're already in a relationship, it could simply mean that you're meeting a new business partner or you're meeting a new uh, uh, mentor or your relationship is going up a level and um, you're really feeling that you have um, a new thing there. Well, what I've seen quite often with people who have the North Node there together with the Moon, that, that uh, a couple, for instance, that have been married or, or not married or be together, that they're gonna have a child, for instance, because this is a new phase of the relationship. And uh, it's, it's um, something new that is arising. So, for, for those Aquarians who have been struggling with Mars in their sign, last, um, you know, in 2018, around May, June, you know, the midst of the, of the year, it could be new opportunities for improved relationships, new relationships, new attitudes. Um, so there's definitely someone that is catching your eye. Again, it could be a business partner. It could be uh, more clients. If you work with clients, it could be um, many, many more clients and it's all Leo energy. It's, it's heartening. It's very warm. And last but not least, there is a square between the 11th house and the second house of Jupiter and Neptune. Now, this is a bit less important for you. I've been talking about that uh, because it's, it's an aspect that is coming back every now and then also in 2019. And it certainly has to do with friends and your resources. So, 
in a, on a good way it means and certainly with women new friendships with women and very nice friendships maybe from abroad because it's with jupiter venus and jupiter in sagittarius in your 11th house is fantastic to anything that you're doing in groups with women um or maybe it's a man who's just very female like i mean i mean or having female energy in them um you know nowadays it's not always you know that black and white uh, separation so to speak uh that yin and yang and and all of that but what it means is very nice connections very supportive connections uh connections that can uplift you in any way emotionally but also financially the other the only thing you need to consider is don't expect too much of those friends and if you're doing that you can't go wrong why is that because it squares up to neptune in your second house of money but also of of how you feel about yourself so don't expect too much of of um because there's a square between those other people those friends those communities those um maybe you're starting a website and and, and and it's all good and you say wow and then after a while you're saying oh this is not what i expected so to to um protect yourself a little bit of that is just don't expect too much basically then you won't get disappointed having said that i wish you a very very good month you dear aquarians thank you so much for watching if you want to know more about about astrology I updated my check, um, not my checklist, my playlists. So um, there's a lot of information for those who want to explore a bit more. If you want to know, for instance, a bit more about Chiron, there's a whole playlist about Chiron. Uh, if you want to know more about Sinistry, some videos about Sinistry, Pluto, Saturn, and so on and so on. So a lot of information. And I hope you'll find at least one that is quite interesting. Um, that was a purpose of spreading out a little bit of knowledge there and uh, keep on sharing keep on liking if you you do like it of course otherwise don't um and have a very good month bye bye